There is an increasing responsibility to get the people of every nation to submit to the laws of King Jesus Christ. What are the laws of King Jesus Christ? He says, thou shalt not swear. Matthew chapter 5. Do not swear. Look at what we are doing. We are using the Bible to swear. Jesus said, don't swear. Let your yes be yes. Let your nay be nay. Don't swear by heaven is the Lord's throne. Don't swear by earth is the Lord's footstool. Don't swear by Jerusalem is the, is the city of the king. Now, what are we doing? We have carried the Bible and we are using it to swear in our courts. The fundamentals of our legal system is antichrist. I want to marry a woman today, I will take Bible and swear. I want to go and appear in court today, I will take Bible and swear. I want to swear affidavit, I will swear affidavit. I want to go into political office, I will do swearing in. All those things will change in cities that are submitted to the authority of Christ. Because we are depending on the Holy Spirit in us to live a life of integrity and truth. The church should disciple the nations how to live a life of truth. What did Jesus say? He said, don't revenge. Do not revenge. If there is no offender and there is no reven revenger, will there be wars? Will there be wars? So I'm telling you, with the ministry of the church, preaching the message that Jesus Christ is anointed to preach. Luke chapter 4 verse 43. He said, I must go to other cities also to preach the gospel of the kingdom to them there. This is the purpose for which I was sent. Jesus is sent to preach the kingdom of God. And the message is for cities. The message will produce sheep nations. The message will produce people that are enjoying the commonwealth of the kingdom of heaven. The message will put a stamp on the earth that the devil won't be able to break in. Let me give you a good example. You know Priest Samuel in 1 Samuel 19. You remember when David ran away from Saul and he ran to Ramah? You remember what happened when Saul sent 50 troops to go and capture David? When they came into the territory, they fell under the anointing. Paul said, I know David is a strong man. He might have bribed those people. He sent another 50 troops. When they came into that territory, they fell under the anointing. Ha -ha. Saul said, I sent 100 troops to get this man. Nothing. I will go by myself. Saul came by himself to catch David in Samuel's territory. Saul fell under the anointing and prophesied, went out of his clothes, prophesied till the next day. There is something that Samuel knew. There's something that Samuel did that made that his territory to go under a charge. There is a charge that we should put around our territory so that when full and near men are coming, they will fall under the anointing. It's not that we have army to fight for us. The army that will fight for us are the angels. The angels. So it is actually good news for the nations that they can come under the authority of Christ is a political authority and the government shall rest upon his shoulders we must bring the nations under the authority of christ we must tell them to obey jesus jesus so not the one that started christianity the jesus that is king acts chapter 17 tells us the early church role in every society that they went into he says these ones they have acted against all the decrees of caesar they are claiming allegiance to another king one jesus if jesus is king why are you not obeying his commandment if jesus is king why are you not enforcing that his commandment be obeyed in the land especially when corruption want to kill the people nepotism want to kill the people when the enemy is inside our house now they have possessed all our land the many what they need now is to declare a, a fatwa and you will see that they will use their knife that they are going to kill animals in, a, in their butcher in their butcher yard they will use it to follow all of us in the land Listen, the only defense that we have now is to ensure that we have given the land to Jesus. Do you remember the parable, the story, Matthew 25, verse 31, about sheep and good nations? He said, I was hungry, you gave me food. I was thirsty, you gave me water to drink. I was a stranger, you let me in. Listen, I was a stranger. Jesus is a stranger in Nigeria. We have not given Jesus rights to conduct or govern the conduct of men. We have not given Jesus right to be obeyed. We have not given Jesus right to have the fear of God established on our land. Now, let me tell you what happened when people gave Jesus rights. The early church, 
they have given jesus governmental rights over the administration of that church when somebody came to lie that this was how much he spent when he was supposed to declare judgment rested on that person straight judgment ananias and Sapphira. that's because there was a governmental order that was running somehow the church lost it we lose it when we subjugate the rights that christ has to reign over the nations we lose the power of the vengeance of god when we shift the rights we throw jesus out of our community we say jesus didn't come to establish government he came to take us to heaven to pack us inside one dirty church all of us are gathering ourselves around one man of god and his dirty vision listen to me all of us must go back to the work we must see where we are falling from repent and go back to the work that god sent us to do in the world we must go back to making disciples a disciple is somebody that has given jesus right over his body right over his, his financial system right over his educational system right over his political system not democracy i'm talking about the political system that the holy spirit empowers right over his entertainment system right over his family systems right over his economic systems right over everything jesus must have free course unhindered when the scripture tells us and the word grew mightily in ephesus that means everybody submitted to the authority of the word everybody submitted people in the emirates submitted people in the traditional council submitted people in political quarters submitted and those from the religious quarters submitted but who are the people that will promote this revelation they call them church oh. this church is not denominational church this church is not christianity practicing church because we can't see all these things inside christianity all of us will be too busy with our man of god's vision we have thrown away the vision of god for society we must repent until my people who are called by my name if they seek my face if they humble themselves that means they need to realize that what they have been doing for 70 years is error they need to fairly realize that they are they are now running after what the world is running after in the name of jesus they must seek the face of god do you remember jesus said i was sick you did not look for me i was sick good nations did not look for him when somebody is sick the person is actually sick and tired of corruption in the land that's why jesus is sick jesus is sick today because he has a solution to the problems of the world but they have rejected him he has come into their churches they have rejected his counsel they have thrown him away they told him to keep quiet jesus is sick yes he's sick today grace put him there and he wants nation to come and look for him when we look for him what are we supposed to ask what do you want us to do if you don't ask jesus you will not get vision if you don't get vision you will live without restraint ultimately the devil will deceive you you'll be a worker of iniquity you will not know that what you are doing is unauthorized the only authorized duty that the church is sent to do is to deliver on the speaking of jesus we must know what jesus wants for this nation if we don't enforce what jesus wants for nigeria we will be doomed if the lord jesus did not make a passionate call to all nations when he came to the earth to preach a message to cities then it would have been a different case hello luke 4 43 he said for this purpose i was sent to go into every city also and preach the kingdom of god he knows that in the kingdom of god eh, there's something that is communicated to cities to bring cities under the reign of jesus to bring cities under the authority of jesus we must go and break the systems that is establishing this democracy that have brought cities under the influence of self and corruption and greed and pride is a foundational thing we have thrown away jesus and we are running after nationhood outside the presence of jesus It's the same spirit of cain the bible says cain genesis 4 16 cain departed the presence of god he went to a city on the east of eden there he knew his wife his wife bore a son outside the presence of god the bible says cain built a city outside the presence of god that means in that city there was a conglomerate conglomeration of systems transportation system legal code moral system uh, educational system entertainment system in that city that cain built but he did it outside the presence of god the bible tells us that cain handed over the progeny for this city to his son he named the city after his son the city of enoch was built by cain outside the presence of god is still this same spirit that is building our democracies in all the nations of the world we are building nationhood 
we are looking after nationhood we are mending our nets we are doing it outside the presence of god that is why calamity prostitution human trafficking corruption murder they are cleansing our our youth they are killing our children every day they are they are rampaging our lands is because we are looking for nationhood outside the presence of god we the church of christ have been mandated and commissioned empowered by the holy spirit to promote the government of jesus christ in the nations of the world and it starts when nations repent from themselves and they believe that jesus christ came for government for unto us a child is born unto us the son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulders is a political plan and they receive and believe jesus jesus is worthy to be believed and obeyed today as a matter of personal state national and global policy in all nations in jesus name amen yes i hear you i hear you glory glory glory